This program is really the culmination of more than 30 years of work in the field of PTSD. The treatments that we have don't give patients as robust an outcome as we hope. Psychedelic-assisted psychotherapy really leverages the best of current pharmacologic and psychotherapeutic strategies, which really increases the power of the entire treatment. It's science that is going to really help us understand for whom these treatments are indicated and how to use them safely. The mission of our center is to revolutionize the treatment of trauma survivors using psychedelic-assisted psychotherapy. To execute our mission, we're going to have to do three things. The first is conduct rigorous clinical trials in trauma survivors, whether they have PTSD or intergenerational trauma. The second is to do cutting-edge neuroscience clinical and translational research so that we can find out how psychedelics work. And the third is that we're going to have to embark on training of therapists to work with these new modalities. We have accomplished the first randomized clinical trial of MDMA-assisted therapy in a VA setting. My experience treating that first veteran was unprecedented in over 10 years of work treating patients with PTSD. It was like watching therapy happen at warp speed. The very first session, while he was experiencing his first MDMA, process. He looked up and said to us, I feel like the scars that have been the armor around me from my trauma are melting. This is not something you hear when you're doing therapy in any other modality. Of course, psychedelics have been used for thousands of years in indigenous practice, but when these compounds were first identified, the very first thought of psychiatry was their psychotomimetics. Very shortly thereafter, people began to use them to assist in psychotherapy. Then they were used recreationally and banned. Now there's a psychedelic renaissance where we're again looking, hopefully, at the possibility that these drugs may be therapeutic. But it's only science that is going to really help sustain us and prevent this pendulum from swinging one way or another. What makes traditional PTSD treatment difficult for the patient is the frustration it causes for them. One has to go through uh, numerous medication trials to reach to either remission or part response. In the course of two months and only two medication treatments, we have seen a patient changing from a very symptomatic person to really achieving response and remission, perhaps. That type of change does not occur in the traditional uh, treatments. If you are lucky, maybe two, three years, perhaps even longer. The biggest misconception that people have about working with people in an altered state is that it is some sort of kind of scary process. And in actuality, trauma-focused therapy in non-altered state is an incredibly scary process. We need to train a new generation of clinicians in this treatment because the current options that we have aren't cutting it. And the PTSD treatment approaches that exist don't do well enough for enough of the people who need them. This center is the best place to train for me because it's the only psychedelic center where neuroscience and psychotherapy come together to study and treat trauma. Right now, I'm particularly excited about um, being able to study what's happening in the room, the psychotherapy with natural language processing and then to also use biomarkers to better understand how the brain and the mind are changing after psychedelic-assisted psychotherapy. My hopes for the center are that it continues to be what it is now and in its founding, which is a blend and marriage of a passion for the work and a commitment to the rigorous science. And that by doing that, we can revolutionize the treatment of PTSD with the use of psychedelics, best understand who they work best for, how they work best, and then train clinicians to be able to provide this kind of care for the people who've been suffering for so long without it. My hope is that people will bring their expertise to this question so that we can engage in psychedelic research in a very responsible manner without getting carried away with the hype of psychedelics, but maintain our sobriety, maintain our scientific rigor so that we can advance these treatments in the most responsible way. To treat a veteran with PTSD, with MDMA, 
is a wonderful experience. I enjoyed every minute of that. It's exciting seeing the person going through and processing the trauma in an environment like that and feeling safe in the presence of two therapists. That's a wonderful experience. And I would do that for the rest of my life if it is up to me. There are millions of people literally that stand to gain. Our veterans who have served this country, women who have been exposed to interpersonal violence, our mental health remains a gigantic problem to solve. We remain in a mental health crisis and the tools that we have simply haven't solved this problem yet. So we can't afford to not look under every stone and do our due diligence. And if this is a therapy that can potentially help people, we're all about it here at the ICANN School of Medicine at Mount Sinai.